Okay. When you are in trouble, when you have problems, I believe we all may get into trouble and may have problems now. I think some people focus so much on what is happening to them. And that may take away your peace. You may say to me, Kevin, I try to take my mind off my problems, but it is not working. What works for me, even though I believe demons still try to make me think about problems, focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on what is in the Bible. I think every problem we may have on this earth, something probably concerning it is in the Bible on what to do, on what to say, on how to act. So fix your mind unto what is in the Bible. Fix your mind on praying. Ask Jesus Christ to calm you down, to help you sleep. Why run to what is that sleeping pill? Ambient? Ambion? Ambulance? <laughs> Ambulance. I forget the name of it. Stop running to sleeping pills. Stop running to anxiety medication. Kevin, that is not responsible to say, to tell people not to take their anxiety medication. Look now, what works for me, because look, if you continue to focus on what you are going through, what piece is that? Something happened to me, was it this week? Last week? What day is it? I think last week. And... I believe it was trying to take away my peace. Guess what I did? Well, I spoke with some people, but I started to focus on Jesus Christ and scriptures. I believe at first, before I spoke to some people, uh, I forget when, but anyways, I started to focus on Jesus and I think it was around that time. Anyways, scriptures were were popping, were popping into my mind. And sometimes I guess the same scripture, but some different scriptures were popping into my mind. And I think I was, this may sound I am crazy or whatever else, but I was asking questions. <laughs> I was asking questions in my mind. And I believe a time after, I don't know how long, scriptures were popping into my mind. Maybe the same one. I forget how everything was, but I believe scriptures were popping into my mind. And we have to test the spirit, right? Is it of God or is it of demons? From what was coming to my mind at that time or times, those scriptures fit very well with what was going on with me. So from there, I can either reject it and do my own thing or 
I mean, I can either reject it or do what those thoughts were telling me to do. So when you are feeling troubled, when you feel your peace is being taken away from you, focus on Jesus. Begin praying. Stop running to some pills. Stop running to all this stuff here. Run to Jesus. Yes, you may be able to tell someone about it, but ultimately run to Jesus Christ. Tell him about it. Yes, he knows, but tell him anyway. Isn't that a relationship? Even though he know, he still wants you to talk with him. Well, Kevin, it is so weird because it feels like I am talking to myself. Look now, praying is something spiritual. So if something is spiritual, why look at it in an earthly view? Right? Like, if praying is earthly, well, let me say it like that. So I hope this makes sense to you. Fix your mind on Jesus Christ. For me, it may take a while, but usually I regain my peace when I begin praying, when I begin focusing on Jesus and his principles, usually I regain my peace. Because the thing I don't want is to stay mad for days or stay depressed for days or cry for days or be in this mood to where I am grumpy and bitter and whatever else for days. I want that stuff off of me quickly. Like, I don't want to feel depressed for hours. I think hours is too long. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? You don't have to lay down on your bed, on your couch, moping, if I am saying that right, sulking and feeling, and feeling sorry for yourself. You don't have to do that. What good is feeling sorry for yourself? There is a person I teach and that person would do that so much. Like, what is the point? Yes, bad things are happening to you. Welcome to the world. Welcome to being a Christian. Like, show me, I believe I asked that person, show me in the Bible where Christians, where it says Christians won't ever have any more problems because they have accepted Jesus Christ in their life. I believe I showed that person a scripture and I may say it wrongly <laughs> for those who live godly shall suffer persecution that may be in first Timothy maybe I have no idea so Christians are going to have to go through some stuff as well I believe we all need to become more like Jesus Christ. And I think one of the ways to have that happen is being tested, being trialed. There may be some immaturity within me, so how do you believe God is going to take that out? Probably put me in the fire. Do you understand what I mean by put me in the fire? Have me test it. Um, I may say this wrong, but to get a certain type of metal to bend, 
I think you have to place it in the fire. So once you place it in the fire, I may be saying this wrong, you may be able to mold that metal. So if God places us in the fire, he may have a higher chance into being able to mold us to the way that he wants us to be. So the fire in this context, it's not bad. I believe the fire is to help us. Being tested, being trialed, I believe, is to help us. So don't be afraid of the fire in this context. Let me stop here. God bless you.